بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الأحبة في الله continuing on in our study of the treaties of Shara Sunnah by Imam Baba Hari rahmatullahi alayhi we reach the portion of the treaties where the Imam in, re- in reference to the creed of Ahl Sunnah which is the 18th point he said to have faith in the punishment of the grave or the unwan or title of this portion of the treaties is to have faith in the punishment of the grave uh, and to have faith in the pool or the hold of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so this is the 19th point this is about al hold Iman bil hold قال المصنف رحمه الله تعالى والإيمان بحود رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ولكل نبي حود إلا الصالح النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فإن حوده ضرع ناقته إمام بابهاري رحمة الله عليه said to have faith in the pool or the hold of Allah's messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم and that every prophet has a pool Except Salih alayhi salam, because his pool was the udder of his she camel. The explainer uh, Ibn, Ab- uh, Ibn Abdul Iz he explained in his explanation of uh, Aqidah to Tahawiyah, Tahawiyah, he said that the ahadith reported about the pool or the hold reached the level of mut- <coughs> mutawatir being reported by more than 30 companions so there are many nasus, many nasus that affirm for us that the hold exists that the pool exists of the Prophet Anas ibn Malik reports that the Messenger of Allah, of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the size of my pool is like that what is between Jerusalem and Sana in Yemen. And it has drinking cups like the number of stars in the sky. And this was reported by Bukhari. And also in Ahmed and Tirmidhi. Samra reports that Allah's Messenger وسلم, said, There will be a pool for every prophet. They buy with regards to who has the greater number of people coming to it. I hope by Allah that I will have the greater number. And this was reported in Tirmidhi. And there are many other narrations supporting the Hod. And of course, from the speech of Allah Azza wa Jal, is the ayat in Surah Al-Kawthar, or the verses in Surah Al-Kawthar where Allah Ta'ala says Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Inna a'tinaq al-Kawthar <coughs> Where Allah, the Almighty says Verily, we have given you al-Kawthar So Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala is a direct nas from Kitab wa Sunnah affirming the whole And with that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described the Hod in those Nusus that we've already mentioned. And from some of the other Nusus is the Hadith of Anas narrated that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I entered paradise and behold, I was at a river, the banks of which had tents of pearls. So I placed my hand towards the flowing water and behold, its smell was musk. I said, what is this, O Jibreel? He said, this is the kawthar that Allah has given you. And this was collected in Muslim Imam Ahmed. Abdullah bin Umar narrated that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said, al kawthar is a river in paradise, its banks of which are made from gold. And the water flows over pearls, and its water is whiter than milk. Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu ta'ala who narrated that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and its water is whiter than milk and sweeter than honey. So Ayyullah Habatifillah, from the Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah, is believe in, belief in the whole. And Imam Fawzan, Hafidullah Ta'ala, 
said with regards to the hold. He said, Al hold, for in the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, right, he said that the hold is from the Masail Ghaibiya, and it is from the, uh, it is something that will be uh, from the affairs of Yom Al-Qiyamah, the Day of Judgment. And he said, Al Hold, then the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam akhbarana, and the Luhu Holden, the Yom Al-Qiyamah, the Mahshab, Yuradhu itzba'ahu wa ladina amilu bih, wa tabu'uhu, fa yashrabuna minhu, fi the sharibu minhu, shurbatan wahidatan, lam yazma'u, yaz, yazma, yaz, yazma, yazamnu, yazamnu, يذمؤون يذمؤون بعدها أبدا وذلك لأن يوم القيامة يوم الشديد وعسيد وفيه حر شديد فيحصل ذم شديد فجعل الله هذا الحول غياثا للأمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم يغيثهم به ومعلوم أن الغيث الذي ينزله الله من السماء تحيا به الأرض وتحيا به النفوس فكذلك الحوض فإنه غيث يغيث الله به العبد عند شدة حاجته من الماء إمام فوزان حفظ الله تعالى when talking about the hold one of the affairs of the day of judgment he said that the Prophet والسلام, informed us that the hold is something during the day of judgment uh, that will exist or take place, is a part of the events that will take place, and the people will be gathered together. And the followers of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, and those who believed in him shall drink from it. And if they drink from it, even just one uh, drinking, then after that they will never become thirsty again. And that is due to the fact, or although the Day of Judgment is a day so severe, and so hot that the people, when they're resurrected, they will have an extreme thirst. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this hold as a means of providing liquid or that sustenance for the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to grant them relief from this thirst. And it is well known that ghayth, you know, rain, severe rain, which, and those provisions, which descend from the heavens, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is a kind of greeting and a kind of restoration of the earth and it is a restoration of uh, for mankind in the soul likewise the hole or this pool will be a revival and a restoration a provision from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his servants on this day which is an extreme day in which they will they have an extreme need for this relief. And Ayyul Habatifillah, as is mentioned in those hadith, that the hold it is extremely, extremely large. That it is its height is the distance of a month month's travel and its width is the distance of a month month's travel 
and the drinking, the amount of drinking cups is the amount of stars that are present in the sky. And whoever drinks from it will be contented and they will never become thirsty. And its water is white from milk or leaven. And it is sweeter than honey. Those are the descriptions we have of the whole from a hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we ask that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala blesses us. We ask Him by all of His divine names and attributes that He blesses us with the provisions and on the Day of Judgment when we are in extreme need of, and, and extremely thirsty that we receive those provisions from our Lord Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and that relief from the hold of the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasalam. Ayyullah Habitifillah. A last issue pertinent to this is in one of the hadith, in some of the narrations, like in the narration of Abu Sa'id al Khudri radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who said, Fa'akul that the Prophet ﷺ will see people from his nation. And he'll say, إِنَّهُمْ مِنْ أُمَّتِي فَقَالْ إِنَّكَ لَا تَدْرِي مَا أَحْدَثُوا بَعْدَكَ فَأَقُوْ سُحْكَ سُحْكَ لِمَنْ غَيْرِ بَعْدِ That the Prophet ﷺ will see people from his nation and he will say, you know, those are from those people are from my ummah. And it will be said that you don't know what they did after you. You know, you don't know what kind of evil deeds that prevented them that what they fell into after you after they received huda after they received guidance from Allah Azza wa Jal, but they they innovated in the religion of Islam committed bid'ah some of them left the religion zandaka and heretical beliefs and this shows us ayyullah habbatifillah the importance of being sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and striving our best to overcome our desires and the sins that we're inclined towards and striving our best to be on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the faham, with the faham of the salaf of this ummah so that way we are not led astray and we don't lead others astray that we have to avoid sectarianism we have to avoid bid'ah and all of its manifestations and we need to cling to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so that we're not of those people who are turned away from the hold on that day when we will be in great need of tasting and drinking from it. And I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us all to be of those who drink from his hold. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and our families and bless us and our families with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم